get together as a nation to resolve our serious energy problem. Today is Wednesday. This show is not high on my list of priorities. General Motors hoping to rev up new car sales. I'm going to reinstate the car tax for you. AAA is predicting prices at the pump could go up as much as 40 cents. Oil prices are the root cause. What kind of world is this where you can't even trust the oil companies anymore? Showtime. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Netflix has decided to move forward with the production of House of Cards. The future of the show has been unknown after reports surfaced that the show's star, Kevin Spacey, had been accused of sexual misconduct. Kevin Spacey will not be returning, and Robin Wright will move into the lead role. Production will begin in early 2018 for the eight-episode sixth season, which will also be the final season of the show. Still with cleaning up the mess, veteran foreign affairs correspondent Christian Amanpour will get a seat at PBS as the public broadcaster works to fill the slot left vacant by the now-canceled Charlie Rose program. PBS and its New York affiliate WNET will offer the anchor's nightly global affairs interview program on an interim basis to PBS nationwide. PBS said it's in the process of finalizing plans for a second public affairs show to follow Amanpour on PBS. It's time for Things I Learned from Seinfeld. There's two types of favors, the big favor and the small favor. You can measure the size of the favor by the pause that a person takes after they ask you to do me a favor. <laughs> small favor, small pause. Can you do me a favor hand me that pencil? No pause at all. Big favors are, could you do me a favor? That's it for Things I've Learned from Seinfeld. Donald Trump announced plans to shrink national parks in Utah, opening them up to developers. You know, if you've seen one tree, you've seen them all. But a backhoe? Now that's a thing of beauty. A sixth woman has come forward to accuse Senator Al Franken of sexually inappropriate behavior. On the plus side, if Franken resigns as senator from Minnesota, he could still be elected the senator from Alabama. Facebook has a new messenger app just for kids. And already, the Russians have hacked it with fake news stories about SpongeBob. A Cathay Pacific passenger jet reported actually seeing the latest North Korean missile re-enter the atmosphere and splash into the ocean. Uh, this is your captain speaking. If you'll look out the left window, you'll get a beautiful view of the Sea of Japan. And if you look out the right window, you'll get a glimpse of how the world will end. And please fasten your seatbelts. A possum sneaked into a Florida liquor store, broke a bottle of bourbon, then drank the whole thing. He was taken to a wildlife refuge center to sober up. It's kind of a weird story. I thought possums were beer drinkers. New study finds that if you read something aloud rather than silently, you're more likely to remember it. However, that doesn't seem to apply to marriage vows. A new poll says Alan Rickman is the greatest English actor of all time. Americans replied, the German guy from Die Hard? Seriously? The U.S. Army has been granting more and more waivers to people who want to join the military but have a history of criminal marijuana use. However, they're only allowed three times to slip up when they refer to their superior officer as Sir Dude. Time for Nobody Gives a f Today is Walt Disney's birthday. He would have been 116, or about the age you feel when you finally get to the front of the line at Disneyland. Hey, Mickey Mouse, nobody gives a f Public water fountains in Paris are being updated to offer sparkling water. Well, now you're just showing off. Hey, Paris, nobody gives a f and the RV industry reports increased sales due to baby boomers. That's because they don't want to be caught again at Woodstock without a bathroom. Hey, RVs, nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.